What's your dream university? Stanford. Oxford. LSE. McGill. Cambridge. What about you? AUS. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jason. Welcome to my chemistry class. The topic we're talking about today is uh, hydroxyl compounds. Next. Okay. So there are two types of hydroxyl compounds. The first one is the one that we commonly know as alcohol. That is an aliphatic hydroxyl compound. And another type is known as aromatic hydroxyl compounds. They are commonly known as phenols. Next. So if uh, most alcohol contains only one OH functional group, so we call them monohydric alcohol. Some alcohols contain more than one OH functional group. We call it polyhydric alcohol. Next. Okay. So the general formula of alcohols goes uh, of monohydric alcohols is CnH2n plus one OH. Okay. An example will be ethanol. Okay. Um, ethanol has a isomer known as methoxyethane. Methane. Okay. They are isomers because they're the same number of carbon atoms, same number of hydrogen atoms, and same number of oxygen atoms. In short, they have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. Next. So, alcohols can be further classified into three different types. The first one is a primary alcohol with only one R groups. The second one is a secondary alcohol whereby there are two R groups. And finally, the third one is a tertiary alcohol whereby there are three R groups. Okay, next. So in this question, draw all possible isomers, both structural and uh, stereoisomers of alcohols with formula C4H9OH. So in the diagram shown, there are two primary alcohols. How can we tell there are two primary alcohols? If you look at a carbon that is connected to the OH group, okay, surrounding that carbon, there are two hydrogens and one alkyl group. Alkyl group is also known as R groups. So since there, there is only one R group, hence this is a primary alcohol. Okay, uh, next. Okay, this is another isomer of C4H9OH. Okay, it is a secondary alcohol. Okay, because there are two R groups connected to the carbon that is bonded to the OH group. Okay, coincidentally, this carbon is also optically active because it has four different groups surrounding the carbon atom marked with an asterisk. Since it is optically active, so we can draw two stereoisomer of this alcohol, which is shown in the diagram. Next. Here, now we will discuss about the boiling points of alcohols. Okay, in the table shown, there, are, there is a list of alcohol and a list of alkane. If you compare alcohols and alkanes, generally alcohols have higher boiling points than alkane. Why is this so? Can you think about it? Okay, and you can see that as the alcohol grows longer, from methanol to ethanol to propanol, the boiling point increases. Okay. Similarly, when the alkane grows longer in chain, the boiling point increases. Okay, so we have to discuss why is this happening. Next. Okay, in alcohols, because of the presence of the OH group, okay, it can form hydrogen bonds between the molecules. Hydrogen bonds is a stronger form of intermolecular forces. Okay, because of this hydrogen bond, most alcohols have higher boiling point than alkanes of similar molecular mass. Okay, so the hydrogen bond is illustrated in the diagram shown. Okay, and so therefore more energy is required to overcome this stronger hydrogen bonds in the alcohol molecules than the weaker van der Waals forces of attraction in alkane molecules. Next. Um, so in this, in this diagram, you see that ethanol has a boiling point of 78 degrees Celsius, 
while pentanol has a boiling point of 138 degrees Celsius. So why is this so? Okay, so since both of them are alcohols, they form hydrogen. The alkyl chain in pentanol is larger than the alkyl chain in ethanol. Because of this, the IDID forces in pentanol is stronger than in ethanol. So more energy is required to overcome the stronger IDID in pentanol than ethanol resulting in higher boiling. We have come to the end of this short presentation. We will continue the rest of the physical properties of alcohols in the next lesson. Thank you for joining this class and I hope to see you again.